It sounds like a myth, but the physics were catastrophic. On January 15, 1919, a massive tank in Boston containing 2.3 million gallons of molasses disintegrated. The tank, 50 feet tall, was filled to capacity for the first time. The steel was too thin for the hydrostatic load. Even worse, the ambient temperature rose sharply from 2 degrees to 40 degrees. This caused thermal expansion of the molasses, increasing internal pressure, while the cold steel remained brittle. The result was catastrophic brittle fracture. The rivets didn't just fail, they sheared like bullets. The tank unzipped. The wave of molasses, weighing 26 million pounds, hit the streets at 35 miles per hour. It possessed enough kinetic energy to knock buildings off their foundations and crumple steel elevated train tracks. As the molasses cooled in the winter air, its viscosity increased exponentially. It turned from a liquid into a non-Newtonian solid, trapping everything in its path like quicksand.